it's been a while since I vlogged, hasn't it? But I'm fixing to head to my counselor's appointment and I thought I would get on here and say hi and check in with you and take you along with me. It probably won't be a very boring vlog. It's just not very, very much going on. It's very cloudy and dreary day here. And oh, Lord have mercy this weekend. We had some bad storms. I was blessed. We were blessed where we live. We just got heavy rain. Uh and stuff but there was a couple of the communities not far from us alto and franklin that bless their they had bad tornadoes and and a couple of kids were killed and it was just it was just if yeah, just thank our blessings it i don't know it's i don't even know what to say because i you know you want to say thank god it wasn't me but i wouldn't want it to, i don't want it to be anybody so it's kind of brought me kind of like in a funk. I don't know how to explain it besides that. It's just, ah. And then, if y'all seen my plan with me, y'all heard about that this week was also a good weekend though, because Joshua got his Make-A-Wish. Uh, we, it was his Make-A-Wish weekend. Saturday, he got to go on his shopping spree he wanted to. They picked him up in a limo and they went all over Tyler and oh bless his heart. Oh, and one picture of it, it's on my Facebook. He, he shopped until he dropped, y'all. He was literally asleep in the limousine. He was tired. And y'all, this is the first time I've had makeup on in I don't know how long. And I put it on, honestly, because my face, I don't know what's going on. I am breaking out. Y'all, y'all can see that something, like something bit me there. I don't know if I'm having an allergic reaction. But the last few days, I just had these little bumps just all over the side of my face. And I don't know what it is. So I said, I've got to put some makeup on or something. So I just put the bare minimum on. And of course, it's hard for me to just put the bare minimum on. People say, oh, I just put my eyebrows on. It's a little bit... It's like when I start, it's I don't I, I just want to go ahead and go through with it. So I did, but I did. I forgot concealer. It's been so long since I put makeup on. I forgot concealer. I forgot. I wish man could have concealed this little bite some here. But I don't know what. I don't know what. If something bit me, and I'm allergic to it, or if I'm only thing that I'm using is the It Cosmetic Secret Sauce uh, lotion. And be honest, I hadn't even been using that that often. So, because it's just been, like I said, just kind of like in the funk and just, I haven't had makeup on in I don't know how long. But, uh, I'm all excited though for this weekend. And oh, if y'all see my Insta stories, if you follow me on Instagram, you see my early Mother's Day gift. I got me a Pioneer Woman uh, Instapot. I cannot wait to try that my rice pudding that I used in my regular pressure cooker. I can't wait to try the rice pudding in that one too. So I've got several ideas on what to cook in it. And my other pressure cooker, I'm not doing nothing. I'm keeping it too because, I mean, there's a lot of times you can be cooking two things at one time. You know, you, sometimes you might want to eat two. Uh, that's where, well, probably not me, but I got to. So I'm not going to wait. What I'm saying is I'm keeping both of them. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I, I guess I'll catch up with you a little bit later. I don't have nothing else to say right now, but... Believe me, it'll come to me in a minute. This brain rattles around in there. See, I already thought of something. You guys, y'all see? Y'all see all my gray hair? Mm-hmm. I'm still in the process of letting this hair grow out. My bangs are growing out pretty good. I mean, I mean, I'm able to get them all the way back without them falling down. But it's just the length that seems to take forever to grow. And so I'm still in an awkward stage. I still have that home color set, but I'm too scared to use it. Or then when I, when I think about using it, I don't take the time to do it. I don't want to do it myself, because I want, uh, which kids could do it for me, but you know, excuses, excuses. But so, anyway, so y'all get to see this, uh, my, gray, my gray hair, but I've earned every one of these gray hairs. I've earned every one of them. I do have, oh dear, whoa, gotta watch, she's where there's one, there's two, but anyway, I got a question for y'all, on my uh, what's for dinner, or even our recipe video I do, uh, when I link a recipe, I never had really thought about it, uh, if I can't think of the name of the person that 
did the, I'm doing the recipe for, when I'm doing filling out the details and the tags and stuff in the description box. And if you're a YouTube YouTube YouTuber, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you know what you read the links and so you can go right to the recipe. Well, I never had really thought about it until someone I watched brought it up that it was one of their pet peeves that people would link it to their Pinterest board. Well, uh, because that's not really right because that's linking it to yours. And but, but even though it links it to yours, you still got to click on it to go to their website, the, the people that you got the recipe for as website. So I just, you know, whatever is easiest, I never thought about it. So which would y'all rather have? Would y'all rather have me link it to the exact recipe to that website, to the actual recipe, or just to my Pinterest board? It doesn't matter to me. I just needed to know. I never really thought about it not being, uh, she said, uh, the girl said that it, it aggravated her because a lot of times she'd have to go into different web browser and stuff, and I don't have to do that when I click on, uh, links that's in, from Pinterest and, uh, from other videos, but maybe other people are having that issue and I didn't know about it. So let me know because it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I, like I, y'all know I'm just doing this for fun. I'm having fun. And so just let me know what y'all prefer. If you would prefer just to link directly to that page, if I have that uh, link, I'll do that. And sometimes it's one that I just have to write it off, but I can try if I have time. I can try to write that one, but write it down, write it down, but most time I just link it to that YouTube video that I got the recipe off of. So that's, that's what I, how I've been doing it, because like, I had never thought about it being someone's pet peeve or aggravating somebody when they have, uh, but she was saying in a way that they wasn't really given the, uh, the person whose recipe it is, uh, credit for it, but I always say when I'm doing, during where I'm filming, who the recipe came from, because I want them to have credit for it, and, and, and if I found it off in Pinterest, that's where I found it, but that, but also I need, I usually, I think I usually say the name of the actual website, too. I may not. I don't know. I haven't gone back to watch, but I'll make sure I do do that, because I do want the right people to get the credit for it, because that, that is right. I do agree with that. But linking it to their website or to the Pinterest to get to it, to me, that doesn't make a big difference. But that's me. I want to know what y'all think. If it does make a difference, I, I want to know so I can do the right thing. I can do what y'all, the majority of y'all want me to do. So, the long about way about going around asking you that. But anyway, so let me know down below in the comments. Watch how y'all would like me to link the recipes. Direct them to the website or to the Pinterest board to my Pinterest board where I have it. I'd always just thought that if I did it that way, if there was other things on my Pinterest board that I have pinned, that the recipes I want to try, that y'all might want to you know, look at them. That's, you know, I thought about it that way. I never really thought about not giving good credit to the person who had the recipe. That was never my intention anyway. So, anyway guys, I'll let you go and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Since I can't really remember the last time I vlogged, or if I've even told you, last month I did, uh, was the first month that I did a 30 day squat challenge. And I completed it. I honestly, I actually completed it. I was so proud of myself. And so I took a few days break in between, and then I've started it over again on day 10. And it's, it's, a, it's into batches throughout the day and my goal is starting it over again because I know there's going to be some days I'm going to have to split it up because there's there's some days that get some, uh, get some numbers because I get 120 of them I can, but not yet but I'm work I'm going to do this challenge every month one thing is it keeps me motivated and keeps me moving second thing is I want to do it to where I can get to doing it where I don't have to uh, divide any of it up so there's no tell I may be doing it for a year I don't know <laughs> but I really like doing the challenge but and it really does help uh, it just helps me motivate with that and the clever fox planner that I'm using 
for my daily personal journal planner. That's really helped me keep on task and keeping track of days and patterns I'm, I'm learning about myself. And so that is, so I'm really enjoying that, bringing it to me with my counselor meetings and, and she can help put some basic patterns that I'm not seeing. Uh, so I just want to kind of little update you on that. But it is, and if you want me to leave a and I, I get, I'll try to remember, y'all. Sometimes it's just hard to remember to link everything. But I'll try to link the Clever Fox site down to the exact planner that I have. I use the daily. The daily helps me because I use it uh, daily. I set, I set up each week Sunday night because there's a week in review from the week that you just got finished. Then you set it for the next week, and then you got your dailies. And I love it. And very minimal, very minimal decoration. Very, it's more pen to paper. It's, it's just, uh, it's, it's not one of my fancy printer uh, planners or whatever. But it's, I really am loving it. And matter of fact, like I said, I've got it right here with me because, like I said, I take it to my counseling meetings with me. I don't take it anywhere else, but I do when I go to counseling. I do bring it with me so we can kind of go over the days that I have. And in the monthly part of it, I keep track. And my matter of fact, Miss Audra sent me some uh, stickers. I haven't got to open it yet. It came right before I left that has some emotion cons. And I try to, on the monthly view, I try to keep a track of how my mood was that day. If I was high in anxiety, if it was a smiley face day, or if it was a stroke, oh my gosh day, or what kind of day it was. And so, but just to help... Uh, to see what patterns, what may watch my triggers may be for setting me off to, to a anxiety uh, attack or a depression day or just feeling down. So it's really helped me, guys. I really am loving it. And I guess new YouTube rules I've heard about. Just to make sure you know, this is not a sponsored video. <laughs> I don't get anything if you order the Clever Fox. That's, I, I, I did have a discount code. I'll check. I'll leave the discount code that she had. I don't know if it's still active or not. It was like, I think it was for, it was either 10 or 15% off. I don't remember. But anyway, I'll leave the discount code below. To whether it still works or not, I really don't know. But anyway, what I was going to tell you about the, the daily. Now, the daily, if you use it every day like I am, and every week like I am, it's going only going to last you half a year. Which they're not that expensive, so I don't mind it. Since it's helping me so much, I don't mind buying two of them and have two of them for a year. Cause it, cause it's if it helps, it's worth it. I think they're like twenty four dollars full price, and uh, so when then when you get some uh, ten percent off or whatever, or even if you don't, that's not bad for something that's going to help you uh, mentally and keep you motivated and try to learn more stuff about yourself and, and, keep, and keep keep your mental health because people think about their physical health a lot you know oh we gotta you know do this to keep healthy we, but your mental health is just as important <laughs> it's just as important if not more important to me sometimes so anyway guys i just wanted to make sure you knew this is not a sponsored video i am um, uh they just uh, sent me the video uh, they did send me that uh, that planner but i will be buying the one for the second part of, uh when i get get finished with this one so anyway just want to let y'all know so hope i remember y'all remind me angie my friends here angie plan as you wish she sent me the most beautiful junk journal that she made herself it is so pretty i've got to remember to show you when i get back home show you that and she, she sent me a, a, a just a regular size journal, and a little mini one it was it is so cute so i want to show y'all that and then, like I said, I got some stickers that Audra sent me. I haven't really been uh, ordering stickers. I did just did place an order last week with Nicole Alexa Designs. There was a kit that she came out that I could not resist and some new script, uh, bold scripts that I got. But that's the first planner sticker order that I have ordered in a while. And if you see my plan with me, I ordered some clips from K and Co XOXO and other than that, y'all, I haven't. I honestly have been really good about not buying sticker stickers. So I'm trying to use up, and it and in the Clever Fox, I'm using what uh, stickers I do use in it. I am using up the Happy Planner books and the Hobby Lobby L books. I'm using those up 
uh, and it feels so good when I empty a page and it's uh, finished. And so, so that's what I'm using for my Clever Fox. Like I said, very minimal decorating. And, uh, and I also am, only prescription I am on now is still Scribble Prince Co. That's the only one. If Nicole Alexi Design ever, ever switches to her mystery kit being a subscription, I may have to switch that over. Uh, cause I, it's such a tie to me on my shops between Scribble Prince Co. and Nicole Alexi Designs. Those two are two of my favorite shops to uh, order from. One thing you order... You don't have to wait forever to get your stickers. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, I mean, they you order, I mean, within a week, you have a shipping notice. And so, I love that. And then, Britannia Nicole is the same way. When you order from her, you don't have to wait forever to get your stickers. And, I mean, I understand they're handmade. And I understand it takes a while. But, I... I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm not an owner, so I really can't judge. So I'm not going to say that, that. I just, for myself, I personally order from the shops that I know that I'm going to get the stickers pretty quick. And the Exo Mama, Exo Mama plans. My gosh, on her. When you order from her, most days I order. If, if I order from her, I get a, a notice that same day. Hey, it is shipping. So it's amazing, and uh, and you don't have to worry about. Her printing your shipping label and wait four or five days to two weeks to mail it. Because that's really what aggravates me. And I know some shops doesn't. Because I'll get a notice when you, you know, you'll get like a notice whenever they print that shipping label. That doesn't mean that they've mailed it. That means they've printed that shipping label. And some shops that I will not order from anymore because of it will hope will, that does not mean that they've mailed it. They may not mail it for a week, two, three days, week, two weeks. And very, very aggravating. And there was one shop that I was really liking, but the last time I ordered from her, it took weeks, weeks to get my order. And mm -mm. and she and, and it has showed that it has shipped like a month prior. I just that that's a no go for me. That is a no go for me. But anyway, I don't know how the world got off on that rant. But anyway, <laughs> just to let you know, I want to show you what Angie and, this, and the, that junk journal that Angie sent me and made me. Oh, I remember why I was bringing up the planner stickers. Now, this weekend, I hope to be strong. I hope to be strong. Is the ultimate planner sale all this weekend. Nicole Alexi Design is part of it. Uh, let's see who else that I know of that is part of it. Uh, oh, I know other shops, but I can't. I, my mind would, pfft, went just as blank. Anyway, if you go to, uh, they have a, they have a website called UltimatePlannerSale.com, and they also have an Instagram, so you can go on there and see all the shops. Cause I don't know all the shops myself, but I do know Nicole Alexi Design is part of it because she, she does a vlog every week, and I watch her vlog, and she uh, told me she well did tell just me, but you know, told it on the vlog. And you pull the ones that are planners that follow me. I know it's it's only April, and I'm st I'm already thinking about next year's plans, planners and stuff. Because you know, I'm honestly, I don't know whether I'm gonna get an Aaron Condren or not next year. I know I'm not gonna get one on the new release date coming up. I there's no need. I don't. I'd use mine from January to December anyway, so there's no need for that. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to do that next year or if I'm just... Because I am loving my my favorite planner besides, of course, my Clever Fox is my personal. My favorite planner is my is my uh, half letter size or a tool junior uh, that you get from uh, Staples or Office Depot. I discount. I love I am loving that size. That size is just perfect for my everyday for my everyday planner and what little work stuff that I need to do and keep it what what Keith is doing for the businesses and stuff. It's the perfect size for me, and I love it. The Erin Condren is more of my pretty planner and my memory planner, and so. But I y'all, I am so far behind in it. I and I don't know why I love doing it, but it's like I don't know if I got a, some kind of mental block or what it is, but I'm so far behind in it. And I feel it feels so wasteful 
and so uh, I'm a I'm a caught up in all the other planners. It's just my Erin Condren. So I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. If y'all just do y'all, what do y'all think? I did see the sneak peek of uh, the sneak peek of Erin Condren. She's coming out with a ring ring binder for 2020. I know I'm not going to get that because I have ring binders and hers is a whole new set of rings and Lord have mercy. And I don't know what, what size it is, what size she's offering it in or anything. So it looks like a hard bound notebook kind of uh, cover that's going to be on it. So I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. So let's go around here. Just get me something to drink before I go to my meeting. We're waiting on my drink, and I went ahead and got lunch, got me a grilled cheese. And I'm just hoping I can get in and out of my council meeting. I gotta go pick us up for Keith real quick and then get home before these storms hit because it looks like there's gonna be some pretty bad storms in this one, too. Okay, guys, finished with that session. Good session. And now I'm just to go run an errand for Keith and then head home before the storm hits. It is looking bad, y'all. Okay, so also I remembered. For how I come across my mind, Exo Own Plans is part of the Ultimate Planner sale this weekend, too. So, what I was telling you earlier about my favorite shops, I guess I can now narrow down, since I've stopped buying so much, I can narrow down my favorite Etsy or Shopify shops. That would be, this is in no certain order, I'm just going to the names. There is Nicole Lexi Designs, there's Scribble Prince Co., there's Exo Mama Plans, there's Britannia Nicole. Those are the four. That I saved to buy from. After I stopped buying from every, you know, just everybody, everything that came up. So those are the four, my top four uh, Etsy shops. Etsy or Shopify shops. Oh, wait. But I can't really save. Coming up number five, I believe, is going to be Creating and Co. That's the one that made, she made the autism kit that I used on my Erin Condren, on the Erin Condren plan with me. She made that kit, and that kit worked out perfectly for what I needed on my Erin Condren and would also my work planner. So, and she's not real expensive. So, hmm. So, creating a code would have to be in there too. So, there's five there. Okay, that's where I'm going to stop. Top five. Hey guys, I just let you know that this is like I bought from the vlog was yesterday. Today is Friday. I wanted to close out the vlog. I wanted to show you what Angie, Plan, Plan As You Wish, sent me. And Audra, Audra, Jenin sent me all these stickers, y'all. Look at this. All kind of emotion stickers. And then look at these little, look at these little junk journals. Is that not darling? It's got a little bow on it. And inside, this is just like a little, let me open it up and I'll show you. Got a little tag there and a little paper right on or whatever. Is that not darling? And look at this. This is beautiful. It's got all kinds of pages. It's got tucks in it all. It's just beautiful. She sold it. It's just gorgeous, y'all. Look at this. Angie, thank you so, so much. Look at this little tag that I, I see. I'm telling you, she did an awesome job. Oh my gosh, you're so see all the little tags that's in there. That is just so neat. And, and then, whoop, then I want to show you, we was at Sonic the other day, and they were selling child abuse shirts that you're supposed to wear on Fridays to, uh, you know, represent not child <laughs> against child abuse. And Keith got one. I want to show you the shirt. So here is the front of the shirt. Let me zoom up there. Go Blue 2019. And then Keith, you want to turn around so I can show on the back of the shirt. Be the voice for Texas Children Report Child Abuse. That is that not neat? You're supposed to wear it for the next two Fridays. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. I uh, know I haven't done one in a while, but I'll see you next time. Bye.